Okay. <laughs> check one. Check two. All right, let's do this. Hello, my name is Fallout, and I get asked questions about shotguns. Like, a lot. Which, I guess, is kind of my own fault. I do like using them a ton, but figuring them out has been a massive pain in my butt. I actually almost didn't want to make this video, because lately it seems that I'm starting to become known as, quote, the shotgun guy, end quote. I suppose that isn't necessarily a bad thing, but damn, do I really not like breaking down shotguns. Mainly because they're built around two core things, RNG and hatred. Hatred of all things rational and good. Anyway, yeah, I get a lot of questions. One question that seems to stand out from the rest, one I hear way more often than even what's the best shotgun, is which barrel is better on my shotgun, rifled barrel or full choke? Full choke used to be the end-all, be-all option, but eventually Bungie got wind of that and gave it a mild nerf, and ever since then, people have been sort of unsure on which barrel should be the go-to pick. So yeah, that's what we're here to talk about today. Full choke and rifled barrel. Now before we get going, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, On Air PC. Cross Save is now live in Destiny, as we all know, and if you're interested in getting into the world of PC gaming, but you don't know where to start, I strongly recommend reaching out to On Air PC. They specialize in helping gamers and streamers by building custom PCs to suit your needs, whatever they might be. You want to have a new rig that is just strong enough to play a few games that you like? Awesome, they can help you. You want to become a content creator or a streamer and want a PC best suited for video editing or or live streaming, they can help you with that too. And yeah, getting a custom PC built sounds expensive, but the good news about On Air PC is that they can work with you with your budget. Reach out to them either on Facebook or on Twitter, and please tell them specifically that I sent you, because that way you will get a discount on your order. Trust me, it won't be weird, they know who I am. Tell them, hey, Fallout sent me, you know, the shotgun guy. Thanks again to them, and now onwards with the content. And where were we? Ah, right, how shotguns are the devil. I promise I'm really not trying to beat around the bush here, but there are a few things I need to remind everyone of, both about shotguns and about how I did the testing that you're probably watching on the screen right now. Okay, rule number one, shotguns are inconsistent. I know, I say it every time, and that's the way it has to be. Shotguns in Destiny come with a randomized pellet spread. Yay, meaning that the pellets come out literally different every time that you pull the trigger. It makes things hard to measure, but we can still get a pretty good idea if we do enough testing. Now, here's something new we have to keep in mind. Barrel length matters. I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I have to bring it up now. Ever since the fairly recent discovery that the longer your barrel is in Destiny, the better your damage drop-off point is, I gotta bring it up. And with shotguns, that kinda creates a problem. Here's what I mean. When I went in to test rifled barrel against full choke, I usually try to make sure that all my testing is done on guns that have relatively even stats, right? Right, because if you had a full choke shotgun with 90 range versus a rifled barrel shotgun with 20 range, well, that wouldn't really be fair, now would it? So now, not only do I have to make sure that the stats are relatively even, I have to make sure I'm testing the barrels on the same model shotgun. Because if one shotgun has a longer freaking barrel than the other one, well, guess what? That throws a metaphorical brick into the washing machine of data that we're trying to look at, and it Fs everything up. So therefore, the shotguns I used to test both rifled barrel and full choke are the ones I have in my vault where I was lucky enough to get them to drop with both barrels on the same gun. That way, there's no chance that the length of the barrel can affect the data. And yeah, I actually had a few shotguns laying around that had both rifled barrel and full choke, because I'm a weapon hoarder. Suck on that, people who harass me in my Twitch chat for having an overcluttered vault and tell me I have too many guns. I will accept any and all of your handwritten apologies at GCX 2020. But Fallout, some of you might be saying about now, you can't, um, 
Not gonna keep doing the voice, this one's long. You can't compare rifled barrel and full choke on the same gun, because when you do that, the range stat changes, because rifled barrel gives plus 10 range, and that's not fair. Aha, but yes, it is fair. Rifled barrel gives plus 10 range. That is the benefit of using rifled barrel. Full choke gives no range, but a slightly tighter pellet spread sometimes. That's what it brings to the table. When comparing these two barrels, you have to have a difference in 10 range exactly between the two, because if you didn't, then it would be unfair. Does that make sense? Good, because I'm not repeating it. I also wanted to test this with four different shotgun archetypes, because sometimes I hear tinfoil hat BS along the lines of, oh well, this barrel is better, but only on fill in the blank frame shotguns. Right. Well, anyway, we have four different guns to test here, and they are in no particular order. The Dustrock Blues of the Precision Frame family, the Balagant of the Aggressive Frame family, the Badlander of the Rapid Fire Frame family, and the Badlands MK24, not to be confused with the Badlander, of the Lightweight Frame family. Each of them with both rifled barrel and full choke to be used on my good friend J Pats in a private lobby who has had a resilience stat of four. All right, enough talking. On to the data, AKA let's look at pictures together. Starting with the Badlander. So we're looking at the performance of rifled barrel right now on the Badlander and now, let's take a look at Full Choke. I know there is a lot of info up on the screen right now, a lot to take in, so I'm just going to slowly keep going back and forth between the two sets of images every now and then. Just FYI, I organized these pictures for every test that I'm going to show you from the worst pellet spreads that I got to the best. With each barrel, I only did six shots, again, because shotguns are riddled with RNG. So, going back and forth, Fourth, what do we notice? On rifled barrel, the worst pellet spreads that we got didn't even get our enemy out of white health, but on full choke, that never happened. The worst shot we got still managed to get our target down into the red. The best shot for full choke also did more damage than the best shot from rifled barrel. Now, is that definitive proof that one barrel is clearly better than the other forever and ever? Well, no sort of. Remember, RNG is a factor in all of this, so it's entirely possible that all shots I show you in this video are a product of either good or bad luck. But that's why I did this a buttload of times, because the more we do it over and over with different guns, we see patterns here and there. Let's go ahead and move on to the Badlands MK24. Again, not to be confused with the Badlander. Now, some of you might be thinking, hey wait, full auto? Doesn't that mess with the pellet spread fallout, you fool? You've corrupted the data. Well, settle down there, Skippy, because remember that back in May, Bungie tweaked full auto so that it no longer Fs up our pellet spread. Thank God. This one was a little less clear cut. Neither rifled barrel nor full choke were able to get a one hit kill from the six times I fired each time. Full choke was able to get my friend down to minimal health two times when compared to rifled barrels one, but full choke had two times where the shot did less than ideal damage compared to rifled barrel where that only happened one time. Like I said, RNG is a bitch and sometimes it's hard to tell which is quote better than the other. Let's jump over to the Dust Rock Blues. Here I decided to do a test at 8 meters and at 9 meters. At 8 meters, rifled barrel was able to lock up a one hit kill 3 out of 6 times. Full choke was able to lock up a one hit kill 5 out of 6 times. Hmm. Backing things up to 9 meters, Rifled Barrel was able to consistently do about half health damage, with one instance bringing the target guardian down to fairly minimal health, and with Full Choke it was almost the same story. Overall, there was one more time when the target's health went down about past the halfway point, and one time it was even able to secure a one-hit kill. Again, in the six times I pulled the trigger, Rifled Barrel was not able to secure Secure a one-hit kill at 9 meters. Finally, we come to the Balagant. It might be an oldie, 
but it definitely is still a goodie. And what I mean by that is I still use this bad boy in PvP from time to time. Still to this day. At 8 meters, Rifled Barrel was able to consistently do pretty good damage, including one instance of a one-hit kill. And with Full Choke, same story, pretty consistent damage, and two instances of a one-hit kill. At 9 meters, Rifled Barrel had three instances where the health bar reached about the halfway point, including one instance where the white health was not completely depleted, and two instances where the health bar got pretty low. With Full Choke, there were no instances where there was any white health remaining. Only one instance where the health bar reached about the halfway point, and two instances where the target was left with super absolute health. And yeah, there you have it. Again, it's hard to draw anything concrete from this data. Why? Because shotguns are ruined with RNG. That being said, you can probably see a little pattern emerging here. I wouldn't say there's a clear-cut winner, but I would say that Full Choke seems to be more likely to get a better pellet spread, and therefore to do more damage to the enemy guardian. Of course, it's entirely possible that you could use Rifled Barrel and potentially get a better pellet spread by chance than Full Choke. I mean, look right here, if I only tested each gun one time rather than six times, then there could be a time when this might have been the comparison on the table. Again, that's why we do this so many times, because the more you do it, the more you do it with different guns and different times, the more you begin to see patterns. And the pattern that I'm seeing is that Full Choke seems that it's more likely to be better. Did you hear how I phrased that? I didn't say Full Choke is better. What I said was Full Choke seems that it's more likely to be better. And that's how I'm gonna answer that question from now on. Or until Bungie changes shotguns again. God help me, I didn't even think about that. Anyway, both barrels are great. They're both your best options for a PvP god roll, hands down. If you're chasing a god roll dust rock in the menagerie between now and shadow keep, if you get one with an almost perfect roll and rifled barrel, you should feel great about that. Rifled barrel is a good choice and it can deliver, but remember, every time you fire a shotgun, it is a dice roll. And as far as I can tell, the odds of getting a better chance at landing more pellets at doing more damage in one shot. In potentially one-shotting another dude in PvP, I have to say the winner by a hair is Full Choke. But that is just one man's opinion. I really want to say this in a way that sounds non-sarcastic. If you want to go into a private match and do your own testing on shotgun barrels, go for it. Seriously, I'm not trying to be an ass right now. I want more people out there getting their hands dirty, trying to find the answers that matter to them in terms of destiny weapon stats. I mean, maybe I got something wrong in this test that I don't even know about. Maybe I got lucky or unlucky pellet spreads. Who knows? I'm just one man out here trying his best. As far as I can tell, going into Shadowkeep, you want a god roll PvP shotgun in destiny, you want high impact, full choke, the highest possible range you can get on that shotgun while using full choke, and god help me for saying this, a long barrel. Those four things. And that's really all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching this video. Even though it's been highly requested by a lot of people, I still feel like I am so ready to never make another video about shotguns ever again. I'm also painfully aware that that is probably the 90th time I've said that, but oh well. Do me a favor, would you give this video a like if you feel like you found the information helpful? It helps. I mean, not even helping the video get seen on YouTube, it helps me mentally, knowing that all the time in private lobbies, shooting my friends in the face doesn't mean nothing. And subscribe to my channel because I make non-shotgun related content a lot, and I think you might like it. Oh, and uh, check me out on Twitch because I told you to. Thanks very much for watching and for being a part of my community. I value all of you a ton, and I'll see you next time.